I'm not breaking the rules by doing this, but I think it'll be a little easier to uh, hold the mic. Um, my name is Robin Sather. I am a licensed by Lego independent Lego artisan, and that's what I do. And people often ask me about what my work and job life is like, so I thought I would give a presentation to play on. So that's me, a few years ago, and uh, that's a giant creation that I built, very typical of the type of work that I do, and we're going to come back to that guy a little later in the presentation. But um, I've been doing this now for almost nine years, and professionally building Lego models, and doing a whole variety of Lego-based stuff. So that's something that you might have seen in various places, this is in Science World. I go around all over Canada, and uh, create Lego events and build Lego creations for companies, organizations, and exhibits like this one. And um, it's a lot of fun. So this is uh, something that I do often. I'll go for a weekend and, or even a day and build something big. So all that remains of that sculpture is this piece right here. So um, you can insert your Monty Python dead parrot joke here. And uh, it's all that remains. But uh, that's a typical event for me, and I'll go anywhere from to Regina or even to here in Abbotsford at London Drugs and build a giant shopping basket and get 10 people to stand inside it and take some pictures. Often it's a corporate thing, so you've got your Toronto Dominion comfy chair and notice the little tiny one in the, in the corner. I also get to create my own Lego kits. So that was a custom little Lego kit I made for the executives of Toronto Dominion Bay. So back to the Sphinx. This is some people ask me how I build these things. So I do a simple sketch often on the computer, just in Corel Draw or something like that, gives me some dimensioning, and then I might do some sculpting in a program, just because it's a little quicker than doing with bricks. Although I almost always just use bricks. This is the one case where I uh, did that. Here is some construction, mid-construction views. This has got a, um, actually a scale model, a half scale model of the space up in the top left, and that was used as a kind of a, a reference model as well. So that's another thing that I get to do sometimes. And that's the head piece on the bottom right. And so that's what you end up with. And uh, the finished model is actually about almost three meters tall. And uh, if you have the official Lego catalog from 2013, that is the featured model from August. So you may have seen that before if you have kids. <laughs> and I've built that six times in various cities from the ground up across Canada. And I also get a mention to do, uh, do custom kits. So um, for a variety of fundraising options like Canuck Place here in, uh, in Abbotsford, Christmas ornaments, uh, uh, um, a business's um, main headquarters, a little kit, and last year's Chinese New Year, and some other holiday-related stuff, you get to do that. So that's a fun thing too, to see people actually building a kit that you designed. Not many people get the chance to, to have that pleasure. Especially not if you're, unless you're a Lego employee, and I'm not, so I get to live in Abbotsford and, and uh, get all the benefits of having that fun. I also get to make creations uh, by commission. So in this case, uh, I just finished making some in musical instruments for Lego Canada for an exhibit that they're doing for their, for their very controversial Friends line, so that's why it's a lot of pinks and purples in there. Uh, but Fan Expo or uh, something for a modular building company. And I do kids' workshops. So some of you may remember way back, I think about five or six years ago, I was here at the Reach in the bottom left there, and we had the Bread Summit. And um, yeah, we had kids help us build a brick oven, and we made some Lego bread. Lots of fun. It might be Vikings, or it might be castles, or all kinds of things. So just some more uh, eye candy here as we wrap up. I love castles, and so this was a case where I built a nice castle a few years ago, and won a few awards and uh, have a lot of fun with that. Time for a new one, I think. But there was a lot of stories built into that castle and you could walk around and see it from all sides. This is also something I do a lot of, and that's a mosaic. There's over 14,000 little Lego pieces in that picture, and 400 panels that I had kids build to help me construct. So that was something that was done over a space of maybe three hours with a couple hundred kids, and I do a lot of those in there. This was in North Vancouver. That is the first official model of uh, that particular species of dinosaur that I did in Edmonton at TELUS World of Science. It's an uh, Alberta ceratops, and I actually have the paleontologist who discovered it send me secret diagrams of how to build it, and uh, he came and saw it and he pronounced it. <laughs> I ended up doing a lot of food and fruits, so some of
some of you may recognize the strawberry from Berry Meat. I built that uh, at Berry Meat here uh, just recently at Crow's Berry Farms. I built a blueberry, and of course I did an apple, and every Halloween somewhere I do a, a big pumpkin. So this is examples of what I do. This is a weird photograph that I took. Um, I'm experimenting with some background shading. It looks like I end up looking like a weird tilt shift photo. But anyway, um, that was in Victoria, and uh, it's about an eight foot long model. Lots of fun to build that too. And I think we're getting close to the end. Oh no, we've got these ones. If you went to Aberdeen Mall in Richmond last year around May, you would have seen these buildings, which are iconic Hong Kong structures. There's about 250,000 bricks in there, a couple months to build. And that whole backdrop is also a mosaic with another 100,000 pieces in it. And we had kids helping us build that. So I had a lot of fun. Here's a case where I built a model of that boat in the top left. That's the actual boat. It's a racing boat from the 40s. It was a record breaker. I built a, a two meter long version. And then I also designed a little kit. And we sold that at a gift shop. So I got all three sizes represented there. That was a lot of fun. So I get to do that. And this thing here is from that. So that gives you an idea of the scale of some of the things that I built. So that's a Tory gate, Japanese Tory gate. Cat, you'll recognize those. Uh, maybe you can read this. This supposedly says, Robin is the builder. So that's what I put up there. Yeah, that's right, exactly. So thanks very much, guys. It gave me a little feel for what I do. Thank you.